Tarash defense, 2 knights variation, 5, nc66.e3 nf67.b2cxd4. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. By using the e pawn to protect the key d5 pawn, e6 rejects the queen's gambit. Nf3 supports the d4 pawn and puts pressure on the e5 square. c5 takes space in the center and attacks the d4 pawn. This defends the attacked pawn. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This is an equal trade. Backs off. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is the last book move. Recaptures. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level.